Okay, so we have a girl on a branch, and they're telling us that she's going to jump off the branch into the water. And by the time she gets down here to the water, she's going to have 2,000 joules of kinetic energy. Okay. Um, and they're asking us, ultimately, they want to find out what was the potential energy up here, and what was, how high was the branch above the water. Okay, a couple things here. First, of course, we're comparing one object, the girl, in two different positions. So we're going to use our Ki plus Pi plus work is equal to Kf plus Pf. Kinetic energy. She's standing on the branch, so the initial kinetic is zero. We don't know the initial potential. That's what we're looking for. Plus work. So they said you can neglect air resistance, and they're not talking about any other kind of work. There's no jetpack on this girl. Um, there's no monster dragging her down. So there's no work. So we then can say equals. All right, they told us the kinetic final. It was 2,000. And potential final. How fast or how much potential will she have when she hits the water? Well, she's going to be at a height of zero at that point. So we can say that the potential energy is zero. So really, the initial potential energy is just straight up 2,000 joules. Nice. Potential energy is equal to mass times gravity times height. So we have 2,000 equals, the mass was, in the problem they gave us, it's 55. 9.8, because we're still on Earth. And there's the height. So the height of this branch, oh, let me show you how to do the math, because some of us get stressed by that. Okay, so we're going to do 55 times 9.8. So that gets us 2,000 equals 539 height. And then we're going to divide by that 539. How high is this branch? And that comes out to 3.7 meters. That's pretty high. That's a little taller, quite a bit taller actually, than the height of our ceiling um, in our classroom. So she, she fell a ways. And there's your answer. Box it up because it is physics Christmas, baby. All right.